Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan here with Southern Reptiles. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I know I am. We are still hard at work moving all the animals from the old property to the new property. If you are watching, please hit that subscribe button, share my videos, get your friends watching. Um, also, give me a thumbs up and hit the bell notification so you'll see any future content that I put out because there will be a lot of future content coming. Um, at this moment, I have a tortoise that is digging. And what's funny is it's a species that would normally not be digging this time of year. She is uh, typically they lay in the summer in the warmer months and I don't know why but uh, you know in captivity their laying cycles and seasons are you know different than when they are in the wild but typically in captivity they would be laying in the summer and in the wild this time of the year where they are from they would actually be in brumation which is like a hibernation for reptiles so um, You'll see in a second, if you want, you can go in the comment section below and comment and take a guess at what species it is. One of my female cherry heads. Of course, I spooked her by talking. <laughs> Just getting a drink. Got some bananas growing right over the top. a lot of dead leaf but I like to keep it natural like I mentioned before natural enclosures keeps tortoises happy happy tortoises make babies and keeps them healthy all right so I'm gonna show you I'm trying not to disturb her too much she's actually kind of hidden under the cover of some banana leaves dead banana leaves they have all these banana trees here growing and i like to leave some of the leaves because in the wild russian tortoises will dig into the ground and kind of burrow um to hide but here they don't really do that or they can't do that with all the tree roots so um i prefer to leave the leaf litter for them to hide in, and they they really love it so right here you can kind of see it down there it looks like she dug a test nest there and probably hit a rock or a tree root and now here she is over here so she is definitely excavating a hole at first I thought she had already laid and I thought she was covering up the nest but she is actually just digging the nest um, so yeah it's just kind of out of character this is uh, not really the season that they would be laying but you know in in captivity everything's different from the wild in the wild they have very set routines on when they'll lay depending on the weather. Well, here, these tortoises, some of these were be living up north where it's very cold. They Some some came from New York and some came from Chris Leone at Garden State Tortoise in New Jersey. So they, they were living in cold areas. So being now that they're in a very warm climate, their laying cycle may have changed because they're not, you know, things have been thrown off a little bit, so. She might think because, you know, it's been, we've been having cold snaps and now it's warm. She might be thinking that, you know, winter's over and it's time to lay now, you know, who knows. But I'm excited to get some Russian eggs. It's been a little bit since I've had some babies hatch out in the incubator. We hatched a, quite a few uh, last year. I was very blessed um, with that because I've only had this Russian group for about a year or a little over a year i have six males and 12 females they all live together they all do fine there's a little bit of aggression between the males but that's good for breeding and there's never any bloodshed or injuries of any kind so yeah she's doing pretty good and she's 
working hard. So without getting too close and disturbing her, here's a little view from the front. She is hard at work. Hopefully that spot is the spot. If not, she will move on to the next one until she finds a suitable spot to deposit her egg. All right, it looks like our female Russian has finished nesting. Let's go check it out. Fingers crossed, hopefully we have some eggs. All right, so that's where she originally was digging and then probably hit something over here looks like a rock probably and then gave up on that nest there she is right there she actually fell asleep after digging this nest that's how tired she was so, let's see if she indeed deposited any eggs Trying to be very gentle. Do not want to break anything. It's feeling something, but it feels like a rock. And there are eggs. Wow, I cannot believe this. Russian eggs in January. Have not had that happen before. Awesome. So there's at least one. Very cool. Very excited. And look at that. She's just so she's so tired after digging that nest. She literally walked a foot forward and fell asleep right there. Trying to gently get the eggs out. Okay, so there. That is one. Beautiful Russian egg. You know, keep in mind these Russians are small, so they're not laying massive clutches of eggs. Let's see a second egg. They are decent size. All right. So two eggs, that's good enough for me because I didn't even know she was gonna be laying. So I'm stoked, super blessed. Two beautiful R Russian eggs here. Thank you to that female. She's relaxing now. All right, so we also got a new, a few new additions to the Southern Reptiles Farm. Check it out. Let's see, so we got our three little guys, Mo, Curly, and Larry. They're here still. And now we got these big girls over here. We got four of them. And they are all four egg laying chickens. I already got three eggs from them, which is pretty amazing. They've laid 
less than 24 hours after I got them, which is awesome. They've been using the nesting boxes, which is pretty cool. And they are just beautiful chickens. Uh, so shout out to my friend Vincent who gave me the chickens for free. I actually just gave them some egg shells from the eggs that we had from breakfast this morning that came from them. The uh, egg shells are great for calcium to get some uh, calcium back in their system for when they lay more eggs. Um, so yeah, big shout out to my friend Vincent for giving me the chickens. He actually, he came out here to the farm and got a red foot tortoise for his kids. Uh, David and Addison, uh, shout out to David and Addison. I know they watch my YouTube channel, so I hope you guys enjoy your red foot tortoise and keep up the hobby because it's a, it's an awesome hobby to have and I love it. And you guys can do it for many, many years to come. And before you know it, you'll have all kinds of species, like maybe a radiated tortoise, Indian star tortoise, who knows? I started with a red foot and then got many many more so thanks guys all right so i got the radiata in here right now this is the uh this used to be where the previous owner kept his muscovy ducks and it's a big enclosure as you can see not a huge fan of the wire but it does have a board along the bottom so um they do kind of bump into that that board as you can see so they're not running straight into wire but um it's great it's a great temporary enclosure um for you know these guys until i get a bigger one set up for them but this is pretty big i mean this enclosure has got to be probably i don't know this is probably got to i would say 25 feet by 10 feet in some parts or 15 feet in some parts so it's pretty it's pretty big um so they got lots of weeds that are growing through i just threw down some missouri pellets that they're munching on and um yeah they are loving it you know some people have asked me before well why do you throw the pellets on the ground you know they could get an impaction you know in the wild, they're not going to be eating food off of a tray all the time or a plate. So um, the pellets are not wet. They're not soaked with dirt. And they generally get the pellet off the ground without even touching their nose up against the dirt. So um, it's, it's fine for them just to answer questions for that. So, yeah, they got nice little weeds to munch on. Because these guys love to just walk around and graze. I'm going to probably go grab some grass seed and spread it in here to get a little bit growing. Um, got a nice watering dish for them here that my wife, shout out to my wife. She got that for me. She's always thinking of me and the tortoises when she's out shopping. So yeah, the radiated tortoises are loving the enclosure back here. And uh they seem to be doing pretty happy so far. They're gonna be coming in again tonight because it's just been real cold. It was 39 here. Uh, I think it was not last night, but the night before. So yeah, pretty pretty cold for South Florida. I know you guys up north are probably laughing at me, but I love these radiata. They are just a gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise. And the reason I feed them the pellets dry is because it helps keep the beak worn down. It helps um, just just for them to work at it. They should have to have a little bit of a, a workout with their food. Um, it's good enrichment for them, so that, that's why I give it dry. If they were younger, I would not feed it to them dry, but at this size, I, I do. all right everybody we're wrapping it up thank you for watching i appreciate the support if you are watching please please hit that subscribe button also hit the thumbs up and the bell notification we appreciate your support we're going to continue to put out more and more videos if you're watching please comment below what animals should we get what do you think more reptiles more livestock more of both probably more of both 
if it's up to me. <laughs> the tortoises are slowly moving over here. We're going to be building more new enclosures. And you guys got to keep up with all the content because it's going to be coming at a record pace. Let's see what we got. If we got any, we got two more chicken eggs. Things have been laying like crazy. Thank you, Vincent, for giving me the chickens. And, and thank you to his children, uh, David and Addison. I appreciate it uh, so much. And uh, I appreciate your support watching the channel. I hope you guys enjoy your redfoot tortoise too. And uh, keep watching. And everybody have a good night. And also don't forget to check out my website, southernreptiles.net. We got some beautiful caramel hypo red eared sliders right now we got razorback musk turtles we got red foots we got yellow foots we got hermans we got a little bit of everything we're gonna have more marginated hatchlings ready next week uh cherry heads will be hatching at the end of the month so just stay tuned and have a good night